Hello and welcome to Michael Michael's Hidden Cup, game number one. I am your host, Michael Michael, and we're here to see the first game of the bracket. In the blue, we have Colin Craig playing as the Byzantines. Very interesting pick. And in the red on the other side of the map, we have Jamie Lee Ross. He's playing as the, as the Vietnamese. Very interesting Civ matchups. Not something we've seen before. There's been some other games of Goths and Persians and, and Japanese. So this should be interesting. And for those who don't know, you might be coming on YouTube. This is the first game. You might see it and click it. And this is a 16-person tournament. And it's a hidden cup. And everyone's got uh, names based off New Zealand politics. So no one actually knows who they are. No one knows who they're playing. And it's part of the fun for us to try guess. Let's get this game underway. And you can see right off the bat, Jamie Lee Ross, he's going to make his first house. Very good. Goat's being sent underneath the TC. He's not going to make his second house right off the bat. Here we have the double house coming in from Colin Craig. Very good. Also going to get his goats underneath the town centre. Get that food in, come go in it. Make some more villages. Both guys making villages. So standard starts at the moment. We also have some scouting going on. Here you can see Colin Craig. I might have had auto scout on. Ooh. Here we can see Jamie Lee Ross's scout has come right over to Colin Craig's base. His side of the map, I should say. Looks like, due to that, you might expect Jamie Lee Ross to be doing some early aggression. That's what you want to do if you want to, you want to know where to send the people. He's going to steal a sheep. He's going to take it for himself. How rude. Very good to see that. Every advantage is an advantage. He's going to keep it down here. Is he going to walk it back and around and back? I think he is. Idle villager by the house there. Not seen by Colin Craig. Not the best look. A little bit of confusion there by the villagers as well. Let's have a real quick talk about the maps. Just standard Socotra. So we have some uh, an edge of wood. And nothing too special there. Nice back wood for uh, Colin Craig. He's got his main gold on the front here. But he does have a little... Uh, backup gold on gold the back, which shouldn't be too hard. He could wall to these berries from the wood line, for example, to protect that. And easy to wall up here. Nice, really close ostriches to his town centre too. So that's a, a lot of food there, 140 food each. Oops. We almost missed the action. Colin Cray accidentally got his scout too close to Jamie Lee Ross's TC. So he would have put all his villagers inside the TV, TC in the town centre, and the arrows would have killed the scout there. That's a big deal because now Colin Craig, if we look at what he's scouted, this is all he knows. At least he knows where to wall here, but over here he knows he comes over here and there's Jamie Lee Ross, and that's it. To be fair, he scouted this very important centre region. You can see this hill here, this is actually quite defensible, and it also controls these two uh, gold tiles. So controlling this in the middle or late game will be very, very important to uh, having the entire map. Uh, under your control. It's a very, very good hill to hold have. we got some Ford houses coming up for Jamie Lee Ross. He's going for the next goat. Let's have a look at his base. He's got a lot of close, close, close ostriches as well. I wonder if he'll take advantage of those. He's running out of goats soon. He's got his handy dandy elephant as well. Back wood. There's a relic back here. Oh. He's going to try to get a villager's pick. Very, very cheeky. Jamie Lee Ross. And that village is on low health. There's no loom yet. He hasn't gone to loom this early. He's going to get it. No, oh, one more hit. He's going to go for another one. Why not? Get them weak. Oh, it's hard to tell. I think he's expecting uh, Colin Craig to garrison the villages inside the town centre at the last instant to get some damage on the scout of the arrows, but he hasn't done that. Oh, he's just going to go for another one. I don't think Colin Craig's learned the lesson here. Um, this is no longer a safe place to be. Ironically, he could have used those three villages and fought off the scout without having to lose any of those villagers' house. And those two villagers are still inside the town centre. They're just getting healed up. Here, they'll come out now. He's going to go over the thing. He's not careful. Yeah, he's going to go to a nice safe tree away from uh, Jamie Lee Ross's scout. Oh, and he's just finished up his elephant. On the other side of the map, we can see we haven't quite got him to the elephant yet for Jamie Lee Ross. He's still slowly going through those goats. In fact, this is probably the extra goat he's just going through now that he stole from Colin Craig's base. Switch into farms. 
There's a lot of nice food right here that you can take, Colin Craig. You don't need to farm this early. Lots of people on the berries, very good to see. Jumping back to Jamie Lee Ross. It's quite an early mining camp. So let's talk a little bit about the civs. These guys are the Vietnamese. Vietnamese are predominantly an archer civilization. Um, and we might see a fast feudal from Jamie Lee Ross, and then that might transition into uh, that might transition into some archers. He might put up a couple of archery rangers and uh, see what he can do there. And that's why he'll be going to uh, gold early now to get just enough gold to get loom for himself, and also to to start pumping up the archers once he hits the feudal age. He's got a scout. Just nearby, just keep an eye on what's going on. Here's a stone miner. She's going to get some damage. She sh again, she could fight better. Oh, she doesn't have loom. There's another problem. These these villagers, you need to spend the 50 gold and just get loom, guys. Keep your villagers safe. Get any straggler trees. He pushed off this wood line far too many times. Still going for this straggler. It's not a big deal yet, because he only has four or five uh, villagers. Here we go, he's housed. There we go, house on the front, not bad. Pretty good response. Second house for good measure. Future proofing, good to see. This scout's just trying to be pesky, he's trying to get another pick. No one's up to the feudal age yet, but we're only uh, on the ninth minute. No, I, I like this. I, I, I love this. This is going to give uh, Jamie Lee Ross really good vision. And you can see that here, and that, that will only increase in the later ages, but he's going to have a really good early warning system of anything coming over from Colin Craig's side. And here he comes in with a very ambitious wall. Um, but you'll recall that Colin Craig actually lost his scout earlier on. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we went to Colin Craig's perspective. He's going to have no idea that this wall's going up. I mean, he could just send three villagers over there and stop it. But because he doesn't know, because he lost his scout, Jamie Lee Ross is going to get away with this. And get away with it, he will. He's going for the wall. Palisade walls, but they're walls nevertheless. It's going to go all the way down to here. And I wonder if he's going to try one on the other side. It looks like Jamie Lee Ross is going for a very uh, area denial strategy. Look at this, going for those ostriches. Now this is a bit of a far way to walk, but, um, and a mill would probably go a long way to get those in. You can always put farms around it later, but... Not too bad, not too bad. Lots of farms out for common ground. And this is the difference. Each farm costs 60 wood. And you'll note that Jamie Lee Ross doesn't have any farms yet. And they're both going to the feudal age at the moment. And that's because... And he also has no no need for, for food. He's got all this food in these ostriches. So I don't know how many farms uh, Colin Craig has. Eight farms. So eight, nine now. Nine times six. It's almost 500 and something uh, wood which Jamie Lee Ross hasn't had to spend. And now he's going to the, uh, now he's going to the ostriches. A little late. Oh, he deleted his mill. This was the wrong idea. I think that might have been a misclick, because you need the mill to upgrade the farms. I do wonder what happened there. Maybe he thought, you know what, the bear is gone. I don't need the mill. What's the mill for? We do have people of all sorts of skill levels in this tournament. Here's a second mining camp. I like this. It's good to split up your mining camps. It makes them harder to raid. It also makes them more efficient. They cut through the through the trees a little slower. Pulling a gate for good measure in these walls. And he's continuing the walls on the front. He's walling in Colin Craig. And the best part about it all is Colin Craig has no clue. He doesn't know at all what's going on. All he knows is that Jamie Lee Ross's scout is out there somewhere and he keeps hurting my villagers with its pointy stick. Here he goes forward with a lumberjack. He's going to go find out this wall. Oh, what is this he might be thinking? Oh, what's going on over here? Does this stop? Oh, it does stop, but it stops over here. It's going to be a... It's gonna, <laughs> at least he, he did it on this side where the wall is still being made and not this side and slowly work his way all the way around because it's... It'll probably be finished by the time he did that. But as you can see, he's found it. And this is why the scout's still here. He's trying to... Ooh! Interesting. Trying to do a counter wall, but that didn't really pay off. And now the scout's going to come in. Watchtower. And that watchtower's not going to go up. Unless he fights back. Very good. Now the watchtower will go up. And he's going to bring in another very low HP uh, build to help that out. On the left side, a barracks going up for Jamie Lee Ross. 
He's finally adding some farms now that he's about to finish off his ostriches. Very, very good. Lots of food in the bank for Colin Craig from all his farms. All he needs is a little bit of gold. He could actually go straight to the castle age. It's not been a lot of aggression this game. People are taking a lot slower. And I suppose that's what you get when there's no goths on the field. Here's the barracks going up for uh, Colin Craig. The enemies already have their barracks up. So the Byzantines. What are the Byzantines good at? Well, the Byzantines have a lot of health on their buildings. Very good defensively. And also what's quite cool about the Byzantines is they get very cheap what we call trash units. And trash units only cost food and wood, which means they're easy to get a lot of. <laughs> and they can pump out a lot of This is really funny. So in Definitive Edition, you can actually click your mill and you can click a button that tells your villagers to automatically reseed their farms. But because he deleted his mill and he hasn't made a new one, he can't he doesn't know that button is there, so he can't click it. So now he's gonna have to manually reseed the farms every so it's like we're playing in 1998 all over again. That's fantastic. Alright. Here's a tower going up. For Jamie Lee Ross, a little bit of action. There's a single militia in there causing trouble. And honestly, these three villagers could probably fight this, but uh he's gonna give it up. He says no, not today. I suppose this tower over here was causing the trouble. He's gonna come back. He's got his barracks up, that's gonna be very important for researching researching for his army. And you can see here, he's gone straight for man at arms. This is a really good uh really good decision. These guys will soon probably have their armor upgrades. He's making quite a bit of them, and he can just come straight in. Really good awareness from Colin Craig. He saw those man at arms come in. And you know what, he's just going to run away, and honestly this is where you put all your villagers in the town center and just kill them now before they become a problem later. And that was a huge opportunity missed, because obviously Jamie Lee Ross forgot that that was happening, that was uh, no idea. That's also he gets away, no damage taken, no damage, no harm done. I like this, mining the gold on the other side of the wall, very, very nifty. And here we go, we're housed again, Colin Craig, we need a couple more houses. There's it, going up there. So inside this archery range, what's going on over here? So we have mad at arms on the left side, and on the right side, oh archers, they just popped out. Actually, just wait a second. So the archers are on this side, and the swordsmen are on this side. This is a really good two-pronged attack, both sides. Colin Craig must be really feeling the pressure now. He's going to abandon this wood line again. Good to have two wood lines. Now would be a great time to build a house, a couple walls here, to direct these mad at arms back towards the town centre where it's safe. Keep this wood line safe. See how that goes. Looks like he's just dead set on getting rid of this lumber camp. How dare it exist. Hit, 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 hit. Hounded again. Colin Craig is really, he's doing a lot of eco. And what's quite interesting about this game is it's already gone quite far. We might be in for a bit of a longer game than what we usually into. Here you got a lot of people walking back and forth between these lumber camps. Three on gold here. Those three have come off the gold. They're building more houses. Here come the men at arms, a bit more early pressure. There's no response to this, and that's the problem. This one tower has done a lot of damage. There's a Vil pick, very, very good. Get in, kill the Vil, get out. Vil's the most important part of this game. Oh, and speaking of losing Vils, this is disastrous for Cop Craig. This is going to be very hard to come back from. So looking at the population difference now, after that has happened, after we had the stuff on the front, we're looking at 41 villages for Jamie Lee Ross and only 32 for Colin Craig. And the only way for Colin Craig to get more villagers is hope that either Jamie Lee Ross forgets to make them at his own town centre, which is very unlikely, or get to the castle age first and make more make more town centres. This is not going to work. These militia are just not strong enough to take out archers by themselves. Here's another defensive tower. I like this. These two towers, they're going to protect each other and Unlike the other game where we saw the goth player have a lot of men at arms, here there's not enough men at arms, and you can see how two towers next to each other, they cover each other's bases. That's really kept this part of the uh, part of the map safe for Colin Craig, and that's become super important because that is the only way he has control to get out of his base and raid Jamie Lee Ross, and that's exactly what he should be doing, maybe taking into uh, light cavalry something fast and he should just get a three or four and just run out and go around and hit this gold and hit, the, hit all this because this is all untouched. Jamie Lee Ross has just had a good time. What's he doing? Two more barracks. He's 
This is great, he can delete his own wall, so he can delete his own wall and run through here, and that's a lovely sneak attack, away from the towers. That's a very good point. Why come in through the towers? We can just come in through your own wall that you delete. Not a problem. Here's some men of arms. They, might, they should probably come in here and hit this gold very shortly. And you can see things are starting to fall apart for poor Colin Craig. Another tower on the front, but this is no longer the important part of the map. Just because you have this doesn't mean that this isn't in danger. More good bit of is only one, one man of arms to defend that, but I don't think one is going to beat seven. I've been wrong before. Here he goes. Go! Go, Paul. Yeah. Didn't even go for all of our stretches either. Here we are. Now look at the back. I like this. And and think I think this should happen more. A lot of this economy, especially the ones gathering these resources on, on here, they need to start moving this way. There's some gold here that he could take very safely. Well, actually not too safely because there's always these archers on the hill. But moving his economy towards these towers is a really good decision by Colin Craig. This is really smart. He needs to put a lumberjack here and start taking wood underneath these towers, I think. Because <laughs> this lumberjack soon is not working. And it looks like there's a lot of Vilpix here too. That's a real bummer. It's a pity he didn't see that earlier and just take the villagers back and start, start getting the wood over here. And the numbers of... Archers are slowly increasing for Jamie Lee Ross. He's not losing a lot of these, and he is constantly producing them out of this one archery range. He made these two extra barrackses, but they're not really doing anything. He's got one, two, three men-at-arms queued up in this barracks, and these ones... Oh, here we go. They're, they're doing spin now. So it's an all-in feudal play for Jamie Lee Ross, the Vietnamese player. He wants to do the damage now. He wants to stop the enemy from going to the castle edge. To be fair, I think Colin Craig's a long way away from the castle edge. Oh no, never mind. He has 1,200 food. He's, he's, he's in complete shambles, but he's got a lot of food. No one's starving here. They're dying, but they're not starving. Which I think is nice. Um, Distractions aside, build a market. You already have a blacksmith. Build a market, sell eight, uh, 400 food. You'll get about 300 gold for that. And go to the next stage. Once you get to the next stage, you could get all that stone. You, you could, you know, mine this gold and mine this stone and, and try to get a castle up. And that would be very strong. I would definitely defend you as you make your way into the rest of the game. Because you definitely have the resources. A lot of men at arms having a little skirmish down here. And this is a really good play by Colin. Finally, the men at arms of Jamie Lee Ross, they get beaten. And that was. He really needed that for that to happen because else a lot of this eco would have been too damaged. But here comes wave number two, and these are weak men at arms now. He needs reinforcements, he needs archers, he needs something. He needs a wall. A wall would be ideal. And there they go. What's going on with rest? Here's some spearmen, they're just hanging out. These archers are going in for some sneaky villager picks, and they already got two or three. This is going to get a third, or fourth. Ooh, very well played. Very good. Whilst the distraction's down here, this guy, uh, Colin Craig's having to micro his villagers to kill the last of the men at arms. Never a good sign. But while that's happening, completely ignoring the fact that there's archers killing everyone underneath the safety of the town centre. There we go, they're, they're in there now, but there's only three survivors. There was a lot of villagers there. That's really unfortunate. I like the addition of um, spearmen here. Although Colin Craig hasn't made any indication of building cavalry. Still, it means that he can't now. If Colin Craig was ever thinking of making some cavalry himself. He, he I wouldn't. He's got his own spearmen, which is not a very good choice either, I think. Um, he's only going up against archers, and archers... <laughs> Made it to 30 minutes game time. GG. Colin Craig, he sees it. And he's calling the game there. And fair enough, he's quite behind at this stage. You can see the difference in score. You can see a very large, untouched economy from Jamie Lee Ross. And eventually, and oh, you can see it here too, is 83% of the way to Castle Age. 
So in another two minutes he would have hit Castle and then the whole game would have changed. And not in Colin Kaybrick Craig's uh, favour. So, seeing the writing on the wall, he's out. And you can see the villager difference now too. 55 villagers to Jamie Lee Ross and only 27 to Colin Craig. So look at that st those statistics, you can see... You know, two thirds kill death ratio, not too bad. Largest army 30, very good strong play from Jamie Lee Ross in the early game. And here's, here's the real kicker, that economy just untouched. And you can see he's got several thousand more wood, much, much more gold. He did a great job of denying the gold from Colin Craig that game. And um, the villager high, of course. Just a gentle, slow slope of winning for Jamie Lee Ross. Um, and you can see he really did do a good job of hurting the gold. Colin Craig never actually took this gold properly. And he never built a mining camp near these to secure them. So he kind of shot himself in the foot there. A market would have been really good to sell that excess food, but that's okay. Colin Craig, you're out of the tournament, but Jamie Lee Ross goes forward to fight another day. Very impressive, very good game, and I'll see you next time.